Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey here from Pleasant Grove, Tippecanoe, and your still First United Methodist Church on this wonderful Sunday morning, and I have a devotional to share about church. And this devotional comes from the book of Hebrews in Hebrews 10, beginning in verse 23. And we're going to go all the way to verse 25. So Hebrews 10, 23 to 25. And it says, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. And let us not neglect our meeting together, as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. And so this message goes out to the church today. It says we can trust. It says we can hold firm the hope that we have. For God keeps his promises. And what a wonderful message that is. God keeps his promises. And it says, on this day, let us not neglect the meeting together. That is what church is, the group meeting together. Let us not neglect that. But it gives us an alternative. It says, let us think of ways to encourage each other to faith and good works. You see, that is what the church is. It is to be an encourager to those who intend, to encourage them to follow the will of the Father, to encourage them to go out and carry out the mission that Christ has given us. Now, some churches and some people in the churches have gone so far to the encouragement aspect that they've turned to hiding or shrinking away from the truth of God's word. Trust me, encouragement can never come in the form of a lie. Because lies may encourage for a while, but in the end, they do not do any lasting encouragement for anyone. And so the biggest thing that we can do as the, as the church is to not neglect the meeting together, but to encourage each other by giving them the truth to faith and good works. It says, let us encourage one another to faith and good works or to acts of love. So let us encourage one another today. And as you get up this morning, remember that church is the place to be on this Sunday morning. It is the place where we can find encouragement from God's word and from the truth that he tells us. So may we be an encouragement today to all around us. Amen.